For the first one, we have n equals 3 implies n squared equals 9. That little arrow is the same as saying the word implies. And you'll see that arrow a lot in mathematics, especially as you go on to higher math. Looking at that, n equals 3 is our hypothesis. And n squared equals 9 is our conclusion. To determine if this conditional statement is true or false, we assume the hypothesis is true, that n equals 3. Does this mean that n squared must equal 9? Since it does, our statement is true. For the next one, we have rain implies clouds in the sky. Implies is the same as our little arrow. Our hypothesis then is rain. And our conclusion is that there are clouds in the sky. We assume the hypothesis is true, that there is rain. Does that mean there must be clouds in the sky? It does, so the entire conditional statement is true. Lastly, we have if it is Monday, then it's a school day. All right, we see the return of our if-then structure. It is Monday is our hypothesis. And it's a school day is our conclusion. So we assume our hypothesis to be true, that it is Monday. Does this mean it must be a school day? Well, hopefully we realize that we do have holidays on Monday and we don't have school during the summer, which does contain some Mondays. So this statement is false. Since it is possible for it to be a Monday but not a school day. Notice the six examples we looked at. The only time that our hypothesis came second was when we had the if in the middle of the sentence. So that if should be a big flashing light that tells you everything after the if is a hypothesis. Otherwise, if we have some of these other constructions, using the word when, using our implies arrow, or the word implies, we still have the hypothesis first. It's so the only time the hypothesis comes second is when if is in the middle of the sentence. As I mentioned earlier, our if-then form is the most common form we'll see. And the reason we're looking at conditional statements is because they're important tools that we'll use when constructing proofs later. Okay, the next video talks about related conditional statements. If you are completely familiar with conditional statement, with the hypothesis and the conclusion, then go on to this next video. If not, please review this in the previous video to make sure that you understand it.